Miss Pendleton, you're early. I wanted to make sure I found the house all right. I'll be glad to wait. No, that's all right. Come in. I'm a bit overeager, I guess. My first day at work. You see, I've always wanted to... You lower your voice just a little, Miss Pendleton. We don't want to disturb my, uh, my employers. Oh, I'm sorry. And please, call me Ellie. As I was saying, I've always wanted to work in a library. This is a private library, Miss Pendleton. The books here are not for reading by you, by me, by anyone. The owners, uh, my employers, are very strict about that. Oh, well, that's all right. I just like being around books. They kind of inspire me. You see, I want to be a... a writer, yes, I remember. Well, if you like being around books, Miss Pendleton, this is just the place for you. You see, Miss Pendleton, we've gotten a little crowded here. Which is why we're switching over from books to something far more practical. Holograms. Holograms, of course. You know, I've never had an assistant before. But with a changeover of this magnitude, I simply couldn't handle it myself. I'm afraid my employers don't know about you. Oh, they're very reluctant to allow any outsiders here. I had to have some help. And so, your discretion is of the utmost importance, Miss Pendleton. Do you understand? Uh, no, not really. Do you see that room there? That's where the books will be transformed. We're all set up and ready to begin, and now that you're here, begin we shall. <laughs> Every morning, I'll give you a list of books to locate. Uh, you'll bring them to me in that room, in that cart. Now, where is it? Here it is. Once this work has been completed, I won't have to move more than ten feet in any direction. Gloria, what's in these books? Nothing that need concern you. They've got people's names on them and birth dates? It's our method of cataloging, that's all. Gloria, this is definitely not the Dewey Decimal System here. This room can't possibly be in the house I came in, can it? Well, if you're going to split hairs, no, but... Uh... These books hold lives, don't they? Now that you mention it, yes, they do. Is a book here for everybody who was ever born? Everybody that's alive. Each is an up-to-the-minute record, changing with every moment. And when someone dies? His or her book is immediately removed at the request of my employer. They use it to determine that person's final chapter, I suppose you might say. So you see, Ellie, working here is more than a job. She finds the book of her life, opens it, and reads. Ellie, did you drop something? No. No, everything's all right, Gloria. I 
Just bumped the card on one of the shelves, that's all. Do try to be careful, dear. I'll try. Interesting? That's all you're going to say? Your new job is interesting? It's a library. What do you want me to say? That it's uh, enormously exciting. Unbelievably stimulating. You got the enormous and the unbelievable part right. Mom called. Want to know how you were doing on your book? I told her great. Was I lying? Unfortunately, yes. But it's only because I've been so worried about finding a job. I hope. I'll find out after dinner when I sit down to write. Well, I have to get to work. I thought we were going to go out to eat together to celebrate my new job. I'm working double shift. Diane's taking her kids skiing. Listen, I will pick you up tomorrow after work, and we'll go celebrate then, okay? Anything you say, Miss Pushover. of ice water wouldn't fix. acoustics around here, I suggest you get some cotton balls and start stuffing them. Oh, I know. I can hardly believe it either. Ain't love grin. at the church? The very best kind, a wedding. There's nothing I like better than to see a relationship between a man and a woman consummated within the holy bonds of matrimony. Mm -hmm. Well, have a good evening. <laughs> Thank you, I will. Oh, 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 oh. Oh! Oh! Lori, what did you do? Changed everything around. Shh. She's real depressed. What are you doing in that getup? That getup. It's what I wear to work every day. What's wrong with you? With me, I almost killed myself on that chair over there. Well, everybody almost kills himself on that chair over there. So move it back to where it was. And where was that? Don't you remember? Remember what? Sorry. I'm causing trouble, aren't I? I'll leave. Just as soon as I stop crying. What's she crying about? I'm 37 years old. I have no kids, no husband, no boyfriend, nothing. That's what I'm crying about. My life is a complete and utter waste. Carla, it's not true. It is true. Thank God you can't die from loneliness. Because if you could, I'd be dead. And nobody would be at my funeral. <laughs> Good. Oh, no. <laughs> you will. Good. I wish I... Carla, just... what's your last name again? You and that nice, rich Mr. DeWitt in 304 are going to be so deliriously happy together that you won't know whether it is night or day. Ellie? Did you say something, dear? 
I said sometimes I get so wrapped up in my work here that I don't know whether it's night or day. I know just what you mean. Sometimes I don't even know what century it is out there. Ellie, hi. Wait a minute. Oh. What do you think? Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> But it's 80 degrees out. When are you ever going to wear it? Next week. We're going to Vail. Oh, Ellie. Ain't love grand. Laurie? Over here. Hello, Ellie. Hi, Mr. DeWitt. Just saw Carla. Beautiful coat. It's an ugly coat. It's a coat he has no money to pay for. I am here because I am filing for bankruptcy. Carla doesn't know yet. Bankruptcy? I'll, I will get all these papers down to federal court first thing in the morning. You're a lawyer? It all just slipped away from me. Ever since I married Carla, nothing else mattered except her. And now there is nothing else. What are the stockholders going to say? What is poor Carla going to say? I didn't know you had the brains to be a lawyer. This is really no time for wisecracks, Ellie. He's practically suicidal. Suicidal? If only I had paid more attention to business. If only I hadn't had to pay more attention to business. Oh, why couldn't I have gone into real estate or something? If it's real estate you want, Mr. DeWitt, it's real estate you're going to get. Just fine. We're off to Long Beach. I just bought an office building there. Oh. Don't forget, Ellie, your rent's due tomorrow. No problem. And whenever your sister's trying to pull in that uh, tea party upstairs, it's not going to work. So the first thing we have to do is sign this petition protesting that rent hike. I got it over here. If that doesn't work, we'll just sit in our apartments. We'll refuse to pay. And if he tries to evict us, We'll call the news media. Yeah. We'll let this whole town know that Edwin DeWitt is nothing but a rent-gouging geek. Why didn't I just change my address to begin with? Now, this is a place where a writer can get some work done. It's my sister! Lori! She saved my son! He got caught in the undertow and was drowning when she swam out with a raft. She got him on it and she saved him. But then, she got caught and she couldn't save herself. Uh-uh. My fault. It's my fault. Don't stop, you hear me? Don't stop, whatever you do! of the books? Just a couple. Get them all right now. All I ever wanted was a quiet place to write. I wasn't being greedy. I mean, I could have made it so the novel I'm writing wasn't only finished. It was a bestseller, but I didn't. I didn't mean any harm. Everything kept snowballing on me. Now, Lori. Oh, God, poor Lori. No. of that before. Is it really so difficult for human beings to grasp that all the lives on this planet, all of them, are intertwined? That's it. They know about it now. I mean, deep, deep. Please, just let me yeah. make a change. Oh, 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 oh,
Appreciate it, kiddo, but come on. It's only a little celebration dinner. Depends on what you're celebrating. Just a minute. I've got to go thank somebody. Can I uh, help you with something? Where? Where's Gloria? No Gloria here, just just me and my wife, Denise. We've lived here for more than ten years. 